Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to my ENL classroom. My name is Mr. W. It's good to see you. So in today's class, first we will sing the song, Who, What, Where, When, and Why. And we will talk about our story, The Big Race. Who was in the story? What were they doing? Where were they? Why did they do what they did? That'll be a lot of fun. Next, we'll talk about short A sounds and long A sounds in words. We remember short A says a, a, apple, and long A says a, a, acorn. So we're going to put the words in the right places, okay, together. After that, we will write sentences together using some of those short A and long A words. Last, we get to make a craft together again. This time we're going to make something that flies. Something that flies. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. You'll have to watch to see. Here's our first song. Who, what, where, when, and why. Sing with me. Who, what, where, when, and why. Who, what, where, when, and why. Join me. Who, what, where, when, and why. Who, what, where, when, and why. Now the first verse says, Who are the people or the characters in your story. So we know the people, or sometimes animals, can be the characters of your story. They are the ones that talk and do things. Who, right? So, it goes like this. Who are the people or the characters in your story? Who, what, where, when, and why? Where, when, and why? Try that with me. Who are the people or the characters in your story? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Great job. So we know about who, what that word means. It's a question word. Then what? Let's look at that sentence, that verse of the song. What can be a thing or an action in your story? A thing, a thing like a guitar. Or if you remember in the story, I think Cottontail had glasses like I do, glasses. So what can be a thing or an action? So the thing was glasses, or a guitar, these are things. But if we said, what are they doing? What were they doing in that story? Many things, but they were all running in a race. Running is an action, something you do. Running, jumping, can you do that? Can you jump? Go ahead, jump. Oh, you're jumping, good job, that's an action. Hmm, are you smiling now? If you're smiling, you're doing something. It's an action, right? So let's go back to our song. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? What can be a thing or an action in your story? You can say, what is it or what are they doing? Who, what, where, when, and why? What can be a thing or an action in your story? You can say, what is it? Or, what are they doing? Let's try to sing that verse again. Follow the words down below. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? What can be a thing 
or an action in your story. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? You can say, what is it or what are they doing? Who, what, where, when, and why? Next is our word, where. Now, where is a place or what we call the setting of the story. Setting. Where is it happening? What is our setting right now? It's my home. This is our setting. When we are together in the classroom at school, my classroom is the setting. Where were the characters in the big race? You're right. They were at the racetrack. The racetrack. And they ran in their lanes. That's where. So we can say, where is a place or the setting of your story? You can say, where are they? Where is it happening? Where is the action happening? Let's try that verse. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Where is a place or the setting of your story? You can say, where are they? Where is it happening? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Why? Hmm. Why is a question that is answered with because. Let's say that again. Why is a question that is answered with because. I could say, why are you singing? Because it is fun, right? So let's try that one. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Why is a question that is answered with because? Why are you singing? Because it is fun. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Now we sang the song. We'll do it again later. But now I want to talk about who, what, where, when, and why in the story. Let's start with who. Who were the characters in the big race? Can you remember? If you want, you can watch the story again, okay? But now we're going to talk about who were the characters. I think there was Red Lizard. He was the main character. The character the story was really about. But we had other characters. We had Snake. We had Cottontail. We had Rat. We had Roadrunner. Was that all of them? I think there were five. Let me see here. Red Lizard, Snake, Cottontail, Rat, and Roadrunner. Yeah, that's five. That's right, that's five. Okay, so that's who. That's who our characters are in our story. Okay, then what? What can be a thing? You know what I remember? I remember Cottontail had glasses, like me, or maybe like you. If you have glasses, raise your hand. Okay, you're right. This is a thing, what? But remember, if we said, what are they doing? Or what is he or she doing? We are asking about an action. I think Cottontail was chasing a butterfly. 
You're right, chasing. Chasing is an action. It's something we do, something Cottontail did. She chased the butterfly. Look at that. That's what are they doing, or what is she doing? Then we have where. Where were our friends in this story? We could say many things. We could say, where was Red Lizard? We could say, hmm, Red Lizard was in lane five? Am I right? Roadrunner was in lane four? Are those places where? Right. Where were all the characters? All five of them were at the racetrack. It's incredible. So that's who, what, where, now we're at when. Hmm. Let's look at this picture. I see Rat napping. I think she's leaning on a rock. But I see next to her a shadow. A shadow of the tree. There's a shadow there because the sun is up, which means, hmm, it has to be daytime. That's when. It might be summer. It's very hot. But I see a cactus, too. They're probably in the desert. Remember our book, See the Cactus. There you go. Okay, so that's who, what, where, when, why. Why did Red Lizard want to run in the race? Why did he want to win the race? Because he could win a cake. So he ran in the race because he wanted to win the cake. Do you want to win a cake? You'll have to run in a race maybe? Who knows? Hopefully you'll get to run in some races back at school soon. But that's our question. Why? Why did Red Lizard run in the race? Because he wanted to win the big cake. Does that sound great? I love cake too. Yep. All right. Next part of our lesson. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back. Now we are going to talk about the words from the big race and count the sounds in those words. Let's start with the word clap. Clap. I remember they clapped for each other in the story. Clap. Ready? Clap. Clap. Here we go. K. L. A. P. Clap. Clap. I hope you're counting the sounds with me and making your hand look just like mine. Are you ready? Let's do clap again. Clap. Clap. Let's count. K. L. A. P. Clap. How many sounds? You're right. There were four sounds in the word clap. Next word. Naps. Naps. We know that rat was napping in the shade. Rat naps. Ready? The word is naps. 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 N. A. P. S. Naps. How many sounds? Let's do it one more time. N. A. P. S. Naps. Good job. Four sounds in the word naps. Next, we'll look at the word pals. Pals is a word that means friends. All of the characters were pals. 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 Ready? P. A. L. S. Pals. Pals. P. A. L. Z. P. 
hells. I know that last sound kind of sounds like a Z, like Z, pals. It's funny. So there are four sounds in the word pals. Good job. Let's look at our next word. That. That. Ooh, that's a power word. Are you ready? That. That. Z. A. T. That. How many sounds? You're right. Three. Z. A. T. That. I hope you're using your hands. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing a good job. Next word is flag. Flag. The turtle was waving the flag at the race, or we have a flag in our classroom. Flag. Ready? F l a g. Flag. Let's do it again. F l a g. Flag. How many sounds? You're right. It's four sounds in flag. Next word. Lane. Lane. Red lizard was running in lane five. Lane. Here we go. L a n lane. How many sounds? You're right. Three sounds. Let's do it one more time. L a n lane. Great job. Let's do the next word. Today. Today. It is a great day today. Are ready? Here we go. T. U. D. A. Today. Again. T. U. D. A. Today. Excellent job. Four sounds. Let's look at the next word. Our next word is waves. Waves. I think it said in the story, Red Lizard waves to his pals. Waves. Ready? Waves. W A V Z. Waves. Try that again. W A V Z. Waves. Great job. Next word is snake. 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 Are you ready? S n a k. Snake. Snake. How many sounds? You're right. There were four sounds in snake. Excellent. Let's look at our last word. Race. Race. The big race. Here we go. Race. R a s. Race. Race. Great job, boys and girls. Three sounds. Thank you for using your hands and saying the words with me and breaking up the words into sounds. Hello, boys and girls. Here we are again. We're going to talk about the letter A and its two sounds that we're going to talk about today. Short A says A, ah, like a, a, apple. Try that with me. A, 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 apple. There's an apple. And then we have the long A sound. Long A says A, just like the name of the letter. A, like A, A, acorn. There's an acorn. Say it with me. A, A, a acorn. So short A over here, A, long A over here, A. We're going to look at these words from the big race and put them in the right place. Are you ready? This word. Can you read this word? Clap. Clap. Good job reading that. Is that an A or an A sound in that word? Clap. 
You're right. It's a short A sound. We're going to put the word clap right here. Good job. Clap. Ah. Ah. Good job. Ready? Next word. Let's try this word. What word is this? Rake. Rake. Which A sound do you hear in this word? I do too. I hear a long A sound. Rake. It's going to go over here. Next word. Takes. Takes. Hmm. Takes. I hear an A sound in there. Like long A. Takes. Let's bring it over here. Takes. Very good. A, A. Rake. Takes. Short A. Ah. Clap. Ah, ah. Very good. Okay. Let's try this word. Naps. 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 Oh, there is a, a sound. Ah, in there. Ah, ah. Naps. Yep. It goes right here under short A. Let's look at this word. Race. Race. Where does it go? Race. You're right. There's an A sound, an A sound in there. Long A. Very good. Let's look at this word. Oh, you're right. It's a power word. And. And. Right at the beginning is A. Ah. Right over here, short A. Let's look at this word. Snake. One of our characters. Snake. What do you hear? A, snake. Yep, it goes over here. There we go. Then we have this word. Today. Today. Oh, there's an A sound at the end. You're right. Long A, today. And right here we have another word. Pals. 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 Ah, ah. Pals. You're right. Short A. How about this word? Lane. Lane. Oh, that's the word lane. Do you hear an A? Yep, a long A. You're very right. Give yourself a pat on the back. Great job. How about this word? Waves. Waves. Yep, w A. Second sound in that word is a long A. What about this word? Oh, you're right. That is a power word. At. 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 I hear a short A right at the beginning. At. How about this one? Animals. Animals. <clears throat> At is at the very beginning of this word. <clears throat> animals. So animals is going to go with the short A words. <clears throat> Cake, oh, the word cake, K cake. Oh, good job. How about this word? Plates, plates. You're right, long A. Another power word, that, that. You're right, that has a short A, that. How about this word? Hooray! Hooray! Oh, they cheered. Hooray! A at the end. Hooray! Long A. How about this one? Stands. Stands. St. A. There it is. The short A sound. Good job. Flag. Flag. You're right. Flag. Short A in there. Chases. Chases. Ch A. There it is. Long A. And then our last word. Rat. 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 Oh, there it is in the middle. L short A sound in the middle. Look at all the words we did together. Great job. Let's go to our next part of our lesson. Now we are at the part of our lesson where we write sentences together. So I would love if you could get a piece of paper 
and a pencil or anything you'd like to write on that you have at home. To write our sentences, we will use some power words. Power words. I know you know these. Ready? I, I, I. She, she, she. Two, two, two. He, he, he. Like, like, like. The, the, the. At, at, at. In, in, in. Love, love, love. So we're going to use the power words and our words from the big race to make some sentences. I will make three with you, but then I would like you to make your own and send me a picture of your sentences. Are you ready? My first sentence will be, I like to eat cake. I like to eat cake. I like to eat cake. And my sentence needs a period at the end. There we go. I like to eat cake. You read it. Good job. Let's do another one. The flag waves at the race. The flag waves at the race. The flag waves at the race, period. Let's read it. The flag waves at the race. Please write this sentence too. You can stop the video to write if you'd like. I'm going to go to the next sentence. I love the animals at the race. I love the animals at the race. I love the animals at the race. Period. Read it with me. I love the animals at the race. So please write these three sentences and practice reading them too and make some of your own and send me a picture if you could. That would be wonderful. I'll see you later. Okay, boys and girls, today's craft will be a helicopter. A helicopter that you can fly in your house. To make this helicopter, we need three things. We need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some scissors. Okay, these three things. Now, you don't have to have paper like my paper. You can get paper from an envelope or some junk mail, some mail that came to your house that you're not going to use. But we're going to use paper today. So, first thing I'm going to do is do a hot dog fold or fold it this way, okay? And then I'm going to fold it one more time because we can make many helicopters with one piece of paper. And then I'm going to open the paper up. And you can see there are four lines and four rectangles. What we want to do now is smooth the paper a little bit and cut on one of the lines. So I'm going to grab my scissors 
and my paper, and I hold my paper steady, and I make my cut along the line. Just like this, okay? And I can put this aside. Now, I'm gonna take this piece of paper, take the bottom, and bring it up to the top and make a fold and then open it up again. Now, over here, we take our pencil and on this line, we're going to make some lines, but not big lines. I'm going to take my finger like this. Can you see that? And I'm going to make a line only as wide as my finger. Do you see that line? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Put my finger down here, make my line as wide as my finger. Okay, on that line. Now, I have two lines. Now I'm going to cut on just those lines. I take my paper and my scissors and I cut just to the end of that line. And then I go to the other side and I cut just to the end of that line. Now I can take this paper and fold it up just to that cut. Do you see this? Okay, just up to the cut. Both sides. So now I'll bring this one down right there and I'll go right across this one a little bit. Look at that. So it should look like this. Okay, so I'm going to grab my paper that I had before and put it back together like this. I think it was folded. Okay, do you see that? And I'm going to put it down on this paper right there to make a line right down the middle. I'm going to use this paper to help me make a straight line. Okay, do you see this? Bring it over here so you can see better. So this paper is on here so I can make a straight line. Make a straight line. Or as straight as I can make it. You could use a ruler too. And now I'm going to cut on that line. Well, mine's not perfect. That's okay. It's still going to work. Okay, and I'm going to stop right before it gets there. See that? Now, I fold this one down this way. Folded this one down this way and fold the other one the other way. Okay, so this one goes down and this one goes down on this side. Okay, like this. Did you see that? Can you see that okay? Now it's time to fly it. Are you ready to fly the helicopter? Let's go. Okay, boys and girls, here's our helicopter that we just made, and I'm gonna bring it up here as high as I can. I'm gonna let it go. Woo, look at that. I'm gonna try that again. Here we go. Ready, I'm gonna throw it this time. Yeah. Let's do one more. Here we go. Ready? Get ready to throw it with me. Well, I hope you had fun at our ENL class today. Please come back again soon and watch all the other videos and read books with me. It's a lot of fun. See you later.